Hey guys, so it's time for another Art Addicts Alliance video and this is for the month of December and the theme was Magical World. Now before I get into anything about the piece, first I want to welcome our new members and that is All Funnies and Games, Aurora's Art World, and The Lori Files, and currently we have two guests and that is Made by Dawn and Pace Mask. As always, the links to the Facebook page, they're links and everything will be down below in the description. So um, we do still have a couple of um, openings we have for uh, permanent members as well as um, featured artists which are only on for a single month. So that's different from a guest. Um, yeah. Okay, so Oh, and also we have the link to the poll down below. So make sure to vote for our next theme, which would be January. So for this, I like I had been waiting for a theme like this to get picked pretty much ever since Art Axe Alliance was made. And whenever it finally rolled around, I was really at not only a loss, but just not really in a good space creatively, which is common for me in December for some reason. I always find it very hard to be creative around this time of year, and um, I don't know why, and it's very frustrating to me, but so with the theme, I really wanted to um, make it mostly like I wanted it to be just a piece showcasing the scene and not really put any characters in it and this in and of itself tends to be a hard thing for me for some reason um I don't know why that is but um like I can do backgrounds okay-ishly <laughs> but um for whatever reason whenever it doesn't include a character it becomes much harder for me but I had a bunch of ideas pop into my head, like, kind of rapidly, but none of them really stuck out to me. And eventually, I kind of just had to settle on something, um, you know, just go with it. And I just want to say, though, that I really don't like this piece, and I kind of knew I wasn't going to like it once again, sort of more due to the fact that I just really wasn't feeling creating much of anything and I knew I would kind of have to force myself to even make this piece and hopefully by doing that I would maybe get myself out of this rut basically just take a hit on the painting but work through whatever creative block I was feeling um and I, I would say to an extent it kind of worked um like I did feel better after having made the piece and there are some parts of it that I do quite like particularly with like the clouds and the mountain that's in the distance um there's like the parts I really don't like about this are the mountain part itself the lights and how bad the main house kind of sticks out so with my idea kind of here was that this is it's very vague. Like, no one would probably really be able to, like, tell per se. But I kind of wanted there to be a bit of a a Christmas feel to it, roughly. Um, so my idea was that this was, like, Santa's workshop. And it was in the side of a mountain. But like I said, it's really not that obvious. And that was somewhat intentional. thing about this was I knew that I could have gone much more in a supernatural like fantasy route like this really is not that fantastical um it also reminds me a lot of like the lantern scene from frozen i think that's like the color palette with like the purple and the yellow and the and the boat and stuff like that um so yeah and then another part of struggle in this was just fighting against the paper that i was using i had bought this cheaper um 25 percent cotton watercolor paper instead of working with a hundred percent I had bought it 
for still lifes because I really don't, I, I do a lot of still lifes as like practice, but I don't really care about my still lifes. And, um, that was all I had left. I didn't have any good paper left. And honestly, I'll probably just donate this large, uh, pad of paper that I have because I, it's really not worth fighting against this paper, um, to try to get something that's decent. Um, like you set down like a color and it kind of, even though it's still wet, you really can't move it around. It like, it stains like much in the same way that like a ink does only maybe worse where, um, once you put down that line, you're not really going to get rid of it. So some places really ended up with a bit of this weird texture and in some places it worked in other places it didn't. Um, and like some of it could be a little bit corrected with like a second layer to kind of smooth it all out but yeah and then at the end I don't remember if I actually ended up filming this or if I did it off camera but I um added in some snow knit that just with a white gel pen I think it kind of helped with the magical feel kind of made it all come together a little bit um to go back to the mountain thing, I, um, it, there's too much contrast between, like, the little specks of light, which in, which in my view is supposed to be, um, like, houses kind of lit up, but I just wanted, like, there wasn't a lot of dimension to the mountain, and therefore there couldn't be a lot of dimension to the houses that were on it, but then I made, that was the mistake I made with the larger house was there was too much dimension to that house that it sticks out like a sore thumb against these things that are a little bit more impressionistic. And I think it needed to be a little bit more vague and impressionistic to match with everything that was around it. Um, cause like I said, the mountains like flat, everything else is flat, but then that kind of has a little bit of dimension and just kind of doesn't work. Um, but like I said, overall, I don't like the painting, but I don't necessarily hate it. It was just, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, it was, like I said, though, it was good for getting out of that creative block, or at least making a step toward getting out of that creative block. And this is why, um, even though sometimes you don't always want to, you kind of are better off, like, pushing through a creative block maybe after taking like a brief rest or something if you need it but um for the most part I find that the sooner I get myself back together and try to just push through it the sooner I'll be out of it all right so I think that's pretty much everything I have to say about this um I'm actually uh thinking of putting together a different video series. I don't want to talk too much about it because I still want to, I want to run a few tests on it before I, uh, put it out there or announce it, but, um, I'm actually pretty excited about it. So I hope that, um, I hope that I like it so that you guys can, um, see how you feel about it. Um, yeah. Yeah.